I'm very excited. I'm finally up to 100 subscribers and I want to thank everyone for subscribing to me. Your support and your love and your comments and your energy and your prayers have been awesome and I really do feel wonderful. I'm going to do another video after this, but I came home from work and I was really stressed and I've been wearing my hair straight um, and I've damaged it and now I have some split ends. So I'm going to try this. I've used this before. Honestly, I wasn't crazy about it for my texture here. I think I'm more like a, um, a three, I don't know, maybe a three A. Hair is not that t as tightly curled as my cousin's is. Um, but this is um, Curls Unleashed Set It Off Curl Boosting Jelly Gel. But I'm gonna, I don't know what this is gonna look like, but put some of it in my hair. I did not shampoo my hair. I just cold washed it with conditioner. I usually would have more clips to section it off. Camera, I'm gonna take about, uh, I would say about a quarter's worth of this stuff. Rub it in my hands. To be honest with you, I'm not sure if I'm using this product correctly. And what I do is I just twirl it into some tendrils like that. It's nighttime, so I might sit under the dryer later so I don't go to bed with wet hair. I do want to talk to you about a few things. Tomorrow I go back to the doctor that originally diagnosed me with my hyperthyroid condition. I feel wonderful. I've been using essential oils and I'll show them it, I'll show them to you in a minute and the essential oils have really been helping a lot. I'm not t currently taking any medication just yet. Tomorrow when I go to the doctor, he's going to give me a script for an ultrasound on my thyroid. Uh, God willing, everything is clean. I believe it is. I, um, I do not want the radioactive iodine. The essential oils have been working for me, so I'm going to continue with that and I'm going to change my diet and uh, what foods they say to avoid, what oils to use, and what have you. When I first was diagnosed with Graves' disease, uh, one of the symptoms, my hair fell out. This time my hair did not fall out, and I think it didn't fall out this time because I use a lot of things on my scalp. Um, I use this stuff, a lot of this wild growth oil, and I have this other stuff that I gotta contact this girl. Uh, she makes her own Eulaney. She makes her own uh, serum. It has something called Alma oil in it, which is also very good for stimulating hair growth. So I think um, that prevented me from having the hair loss that I had the first time I was diagnosed with Graves' disease, which tells me that there are natural remedies that can help heal and cure the anyway, body. I cut my hair in September. I am going to trim my ends tomorrow. Let's see, use this in the mirror. I like to wear it. I always wear it over this side because I have vitiligo over my eye, which in case some of you do not know, vitiligo is also an autoimmune disorder. Anyway, here I am. Look at me now. I'm curly and I'm dark. Tomorrow I'm gonna dye my hair brown again. And this is not a laptop case. Oh, it is a laptop case, but there's not a laptop case. It's an air! Yes, I'm addicted to the weave. I'm sorry. I haven't had a weave in a minute. But I miss my long hair. And since I'm gonna cut it tomorrow, what I'm gonna do to help my hair grow, which is what I've done before because I think I have a form of like hair ADD. I just can't stop. I have all this hair. This hair is really expensive because I only buy good hair. I'm going to use it because I don't want to waste my money. So I'm going to have her trim my hair. This way I don't feel I'm going to dye my hair this color again, which is a color that I usually use. And I'm going to have her trim my ends and I'll go to my weavologist and she'll braid it all up. I might, maybe I'll, if she lets me, I'll let her videotape that of her. She'll braid it all up. This way I can't touch my hair. I have some curly blondish hair when I was my, my lighter hair days. I, I take the bundles and I wash them. Maybe I'll do some tutorials on how I save my hair and reuse my hair. I'm doing this for now until my hair is the length that I want it to be and with it braided all up I don't manipulate it and I don't flat iron it and I don't mess with it and it 
add it overall. But anyway, this is the before. Tomorrow I'll send you a picture. I'll I'll I'll, I'll put a picture of my after, and I'll be back in a few minutes for the next video. Good night.